Hello everyone, I am Veos and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be looking at the Corvette class or Corvette type of um, warship. I was actually trying to make a patrol boat, which is, or a PT class, which is supposed to be lower than a Corvette class. And of course a Corvette class is supposed to be smaller than a frigate class. But as I was making the PT, I realized that it was a little bigger than what I would classify a patrol ship to be and so I went ahead and reclassified it as a Corvette class and it actually works it's it's smaller than the frigate not as big or heavily armored or doesn't have as many weapons or safety features or even range so it's it's definitely um, Corvette class and it's a little too big to be a uh, patrol class now the thing that I wanted the Corvette class to be able to do, uh, which was kind of like a feature that only resides in uh, something that's uh, a smaller class of vessel, would be the ability to land and take off. Now, unfortunately, unfortunately, this this landing and taking off capability can't be for anything like Kerbin, or m maybe it can take off from Duna. I'm I haven't tested it, but I I doubt it. Seriously doubt it. But uh, more like moons and stuff, so it can land on low gravity moons and things of this nature. I tested it out on the moon that was around Kerbin, which is kind of a standard. If you can land on the moon on Kerbin, then more than likely you can land on any other moon out there, except for of course uh, you know that one moon that's around Jewel that's got like the same size and gravity as Kerbin or something of that nature. I wouldn't touch that with a 10-foot pole with this one. But most of most of the other moons are would be pretty easy to land on and take off from. Now, I wouldn't land on a moon for no reason at all. More than likely, the Corvette class would land at a colony, and the colony would be able to refuel the ship. Or even the Corvette class could, you know, be sent to the colony uh, to protect it, um, like a, you know, standby or to guard that area. And so so it could be refueled and everything and scramble if anything was to happen or if any or if the colony was under attack so you could see like maybe a couple of these parked outside next to the uh, fuel depot ready to go and stuff of this nature because this kind of craft when you're talking about when you when you go down to like corvettes and you start talking about patrol and fighter craft these crafts were are not really designed to attack things as large as frigates or cruisers so or at least not by the themselves. If they're going to attack something that big, then they usually hunt in packs like wolves. So you're not, you're never going to see a frigate versus a corvette unless it's a really, really, the corvette's having a really bad day and gets caught up fighting a frigate. The only saving grace a corvette could have would be to dodge the weapons. It's got its own, um, I use the fireworks, of course, to, uh, like a type of cannon. So it's got its own close range cannons, um, and it's got four uh, heavy torpedo, uh, not torpedoes, heavy missiles. But um, I don't think this thing could take a hit from a heavy missile. It would more than likely have to either shoot it out of the sky or or um, dodge it. The best, that's the best way I could, you know, uh, fighting a, taking a direct hit for a Corvette would probably be a death sentence. So it'd have to play, like it'd have to dodge and shoot at it. And knock it out of the sky maybe even use its own missiles to intercept it or try to intercept it which is one of the reasons why if corvettes whenever ever went against like i said before ever went against larger vessels it'd have, it'd have to be a pack of them like three or four in a small group but anyway so i really liked how it turned out it's it's it actually it's it's actually really nice looking and it, it's 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 got sleek and you know it's got armor bits that have the white stripes and and stuff of this nature which is kind of the theme I'm going for this particular type of fleet design so that's really nice and I love how the doors open up on the sides revealing the missiles and it kind of like it kind of like goes into battle mode right where the uh, cannons open up and the doors on the sides open up and she's ready to she's ready to rock and roll so all right well everyone thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for being a part of this channel as I said before if you have any ideas or questions or anything of that nature I'll try to address them in the next video just go ahead and comment on the just go ahead and leave a comment below the video and stuff of this nature but yeah I am Veos signing off and have a have a good day bye for now bye bye